Hello, brothers and sisters and YouTube family. Hope you guys are being blessed. I wanted to introduce to you guys an, an eight series audiobook the Lord desires for me to put up on the channel so that everyone may have insight to the hidden life of his wonderful mother, Mary, and the virtue she practiced, the tests she passed, and the many sorrows she faced, even in childhood, all for love of Jesus, and really showed her great humility. I listened to the first audiobook, and I was in tears, first at the great trial her parents had to endure, and their so-called sterility in their marriage until Mary was born, with such joy that brought them, and how patiently they endured for 19 long years for this promised child. Then secondly, at the beautiful heart and character of Mary, who endured such great trials as a child, and adolescent, even in the temple. She was bullied and beaten by other young temple girls, but never said a word, and accepted with such great humility from the hands of God. Truly, Mary was and will never be just another woman the Lord chose to bear his only child. No, indeed, she was and is highly favored and filled with the fullness of grace within her. As all of these trials prepared her for the greatest cross of all, to see her son and savior treated in the same manner and killed. What I loved about meditating on the life of Mary, it really showed me how she truly imitated Christ. For she too was put in some of the same slimmer tests and always responded in humility. It allowed me to unite myself with her when faced with similar trials of injustice, of ingratitude, envy by others, or even falsely accused. Anyone can unite themselves to Mary in this way to obtain the virtue and graces they need for their trial, especially in the first chapter. I encourage all young adults, those in high school, who are being bullied, talked about, judged. You can unite yourself to the mother of God and take comfort that she went through the same thing, but didn't respond with resentment, anger, bitterness, or even hatred. She responded in great humility and greater love for her persecutors. You can do the same thing too if you'd ask her for that grace. I believe the reason Jesus continues to draw us here on this channel to his mother because there's so much we can not only learn from her, but obtain from her to love him and imitate him in our lives as the brides we are. However, it still may be difficult for some who truly don't have an understanding of who Mary is and what she did in her life to obtain these graces, not only for herself, but for us. So I believe this will inflame all of our hearts to love her more and truly understand why she is so highly honored in heaven as the Lord desires her to be honored on earth, and why her prayers are so powerful. Some may refute these stories and say, where is it in scripture? But I tell you, as the scripture says in John 21, 25, Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. So you see, there are many hidden mysteries of the life of Jesus, and in his mercy, he has revealed more and more of them in revelations to souls throughout time, which the Catholic Church has called mystics, which simply means a person who has obtained insight into mysteries, transcending ordinary human knowledge as by direct communication with God. In the Protestant Church, we call this a prophetic gift. However, all prophets see in part, as the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 13, 9. Now our knowledge is partial and incomplete. Even the gift of prophecy reveals only a part of the whole picture. So therefore, Jesus has given to members of his body different pieces of the puzzle. If you would have it so, that more of the mysteries of redemption would be revealed to us when we bring the pieces together. This audiobook, The Life of Mary by the mystic Ralph Brown, is a masterpiece that combines the visions of four great Catholic mystics and one coherent story of the life of Blessed Virgin Mary, based primarily on the famous revelations given to Venerable Anne Catherine Emich, Venerable Mary of Greta, and also includes many episodes described in the writing of St. Bridget of Sweden and St. Elizabeth. I've spoken to you guys about Anne Catherine Emich's book, The Complete Visions of Jesus Christ, who was a chosen soul by God to get revelations of Jesus' life before he was revealed in his ministry. So many Christians want to know what was Jesus doing before he went public, and she gives an account in such detail of his life as a child, an infant, and even before he was born concerning the story of redemption. It's fascinating. This is where Mel Gibson took the adaption of the movie The Passion of Christ. This is why the movie was like none other, because the details were from the Holy Spirit. 
given to Anne Catherine Emmerich and lines up with the gospel. I was told to read this book by Blessed Mother to know my history. When she came before me in a vision during praying the rosary and handing me the book, I didn't even know what it was, but recognized the cover. So I immediately went to Mother Claire's bookshelf in her office, and there it was. I haven't put it down since, and has drawn me such a deeper relationship with Jesus because of it. Furthermore, in Daniel 12, 4, Jesus lets us know that in the end times, knowledge would increase, and we are in the last days. He desires for us to know more and more of who he is, his nature, his character, and the gift of our salvation, that we may rightly treasure it which has a lot to do with his mother as well. I would never encourage anyone to read anything that contradicts the gospel and scripture. This is a true account of not only Mary, but the Holy Family and Jesus' life given to these souls, and it is in complete harmony with the gospel story. It includes such fascinating details as the birth and infancy of Mary, her spouse to St. Joseph, and her assumption to heaven, which was crowned the queen of heaven and earth. For young and old alike, the life of Mary seen by the mystics will forever impress you with an inspiring and truly unforgettable understanding of otherwise unknown facts concerning the life of Mary and the Holy Family. I encourage you all to really take time to listen to these stories as it reads as a novel. They are about each an hour long. Listen to them on your way to work, when you're headed home, or even as a family. Get your children with you and make it a family time of fellowship. Listen to it as you eat dinner together then talk about it afterwards. I really believe the Lord and Blessed Mother desires to release much grace to those who would open their hearts to really meditate on her life. Send it to family and friends, those who still may not fully understand her role yet to the church and your love for her. I believe it will be a great tool to open their hearts to thoughts of her because even the first audiobook, it grabbed my heart in the first 20 minutes to want to know more and love Mary more. So hope you all enjoyed this treasure. Jesus wants to share with you guys. Jesus, is there anything you want to add? Jesus began, Yes, my beloved little one, I know you have been doubting and unsure if this would be pleasing to me, but I come to reassure you how this not only pleases me, but brings me much delight because I desire my bride to truly embrace my mother and love her, not just to take my word for it. As he said that, smiling, it's hard to love someone you don't know very well. So these stories, which are accurate, will open the heart of many to understand why I love her so and why I desire for her to be so greatly honored and loved by my people. My beloved brides, this channel is for my lovers, those who desire to dwell intimately in the depths of my heart, to know me and my ways and to know the movements of my heart, to know my mother is to know me, to love my mother is to love me, my beloved ones. Our hearts are one and the same. There are many who may scorn this message in this series because you're looking for the latest prophetic word or the latest end times news, which can be good if I lead you to it. However, the best preparation for my soon return is to be clothed in virtue and is to learn and live a life of love. That will be all that matters when the last trumpet sounds and I take my chosen ones from this earth to heaven during the rapture. Did you learn how to love? It's not about how much you know of scripture, how prepared you are with stockpiles and readiness for disaster to hit at any moment. But did you learn how to live like me, love like me, and forgive like me? That's what matters most to me, my beloved little ones. My desire is to grow you in virtue, clothe you with my righteousness, and grow you in holiness, which is the way of love. My mother emulated these characteristics perfectly. Although being God, I took many of my personality traits from her physically. The apple didn't fall at all far from the tree, as the saying goes, like mother, like son. I now desire my brides to do the same. I want you to focus on the details of her life, meditate on her reactions and response to God's will for her life, her sorrow she endured for love of me, how she humbly yielded to all that I allowed and all that I permitted, and even embraced her poverty for all that I denied her because she knew her riches were not found within the earth, but within the life that was growing within her, her son, her savior who loved her. Find also your satisfaction in me alone and my will for your lives, my beloved brides, and I promise you, you will be happy, content, and ready when I come for you. That was the end of Jesus' message. Lord, I just thank you for this word. May your word go forth and not return void. Jesus, 
and Blessed Mother, I thank that you prepare the hearts of all of our children and all the subscribers on this channel to open their hearts to receive this treasure and gift in this eight series that you play out. Holy Spirit, quicken the spirits of many. Open ears to hear what you're saying. Open hearts to receive the love of God and the grace of God through his mother. That they come to truly understand who she is, what she endeared for love of Jesus and love of us that we may obtain the same grace when we go through certain tests and trials. And we also may come to know and love Jesus more and see all that he endured even as a child and things that he did for us and for love of his mother. We thank you for this treasure and this gift. And we pray we will be well received in those who are willing and those who are open. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you guys for the next message.